even in 2027, I am believing God, status quo will remain. That is okay. Status quo will remain. We shall not entertain members of the UDA party to be among the members opposing government programs. Your Excellency, Madam Governor, uh, our Honorable SG, Kropas Malala, and all the protocols of, of sound, mine is to welcome you here in the Kuru County in the UDA Region Office. And it will be sana. And, uh, we really thank the SG even, even for choosing the Kuru County to be the first county to have um, members of the uh, com Communist Party to come and visit our office. We thank you very much. Uh, secondly, I would also want to, to say that, uh, Madam Governor, you have helped us so much, even during the time of registration. You did very well, you supported me, and that's why Nakuru today is shining uh, with UDA. And you know, going forward, I think things are, will be a bit of a bit because we are already inside now what we wanted. Uh, uh, secondly, uh, all the secretariats, thank you very much for coming and welcome here. And I also want to declare that this office will be for everybody and we are going to treat everybody fairly. Just as we did the other time, that is the same thing we are going to do, treating everybody fairly. I will be here in the office and I will be waiting. Uh, you are uh, honorable. Secretary General, everything to be settled so that I will be reporting here when I'm going to my work, I have to report here first so that I will be able to serve the party diligently. <laughs> Allow me to introduce just three people that have been working with me, Teresa, for the last two years. Uh, Hawa, can you stand up where you are? Fabrizia and uh, Robert. Oh, he's outside. Those people have been working with me, assisting me for the last two years. They have been with me working voluntarily, no payment. So I think um, when ISG, you look into those issues because those, they are very effective. They know all about UDA, registration and everything. So mine is to welcome you here and thank you, thank you very much. We build our party to be strong and strong and going forward, let it shine. Even in 2027, I am believing God, status quo will remain. That is okay. Status quo will remain. Everything will be okay. Mambo itakuwa sawa. Everything will be okay. God bless you so much. I'm here to serve you. And thank you very much. Welcome all. I have seen in the recent past members of UDA, and these I want to address with a lot of affirmation. I have seen in the recent past members of our party contradicting party positions. Members of our party going against the directions of our party leader. I want to state here very categorically that moving forward as a party we want our members to understand the doctrines of UDA we want our members to understand the manifesto upon which we were elected on you know very well we were elected on the basis of economic revolution our country at the moment is not doing very well economically because of our past mistakes. And our leader, the President of the Republic of Kenya, is keen to ensure that we salvage our country from the dungeon of economic depression. He is putting so much in place. You've seen he's introducing so many programs to ensure that we salvage our country from economic depression. And we have our members who do not understand that? Going in public, opposing government position. So moving forward, we are going to institute internal mechanism to deal with such members. It's, it's very unprofessional for you as a sitting member of parliament, going to the public to oppose 
UDA position on certain matters. We have our forums that you can uh, express your dissatisfaction. We always have our monthly parliamentary group meetings. Such platforms are the platforms whereby you can go and express your dissatisfaction to the leadership of the party. But we shall not entertain members of the UDA party to be among the members opposing government programs. But I want to assure Kenyans that all the government programs that the president is floating are coming to help Kenyans. So I want to urge Kenyans to be patient. I know there has been a very a loud outcry as pertains taxation. And this is a topic that we should not shy away from speaking. You know very well that this month our Eurobond as a country is maturing. And this is a financial obligation that we need to undertake, failure to which you know the consequences. So as a country and as a leadership of the country, we decided that the only way for us to meet that obligation is for us to have and save enough funds to ensure that we meet that obligation this year. And therefore, it was important for us to bite the bullet. Because So I want to urge Kenyans that as a country we are ready to meet the Eurobond obligations later this month and you will now see what us meeting that obligation is going to do to our country moving forward. And therefore, want to urge our membership. Be relaxed. Kenya is on the right trajectory. Our captain is steady. And our vessel is going to reach the desired destination. So relax. Relax. Lastly, I want to thank the governor of Nakuru County. This is a steady lady. I remember when you were in the Senate, she was among the people who fought for this liberation that we're enjoying right now. She was vindicated. She was impeached from her position as a chief whip, but she did not lose hope. I want to add the Kenyan girl child to look at our governor as a role model. A woman who does not wait to be given things for free. A woman who fights for her space. And Governor, I want to assure you, as a party, we are in support of your administration here in Nakuru. We've gone through the town, and the town is very clean. Nakuru is among the stable counties that we have under the leadership of a woman. Strength of a woman. Strength of a woman. So, Governor and Elea Ivio, and we hope that the prayers of uh, Bernard will uh, come true. The prayers of Bernard. I don't know. The, you remember the prayers? I don't want to say them. We just hope that they will come true. But just know that the president supports you and supports women leadership. And as a party, we are going to cushion these special seats that are being occupied by women leaders.